Hey everyone, I'm Harley and it's really nice to see you on our channel. Welcome back! Have you ever wondered how can you add dynamic pricing based on product quantity for your WooCommerce products? If you did, then you are at the right place, because in today's video we are going to review tiered pricing table plugin that allows you to do so. So if you are ready, let's start! So let's start off with the very beginning, and the very beginning is the installation of this plugin. To install it, go to plugins and click on add new, afterward on the search line type tiered pricing. Then click on install and activate. As you can see, I have already installed and activated, so we are going to access it from the dashboard. Click on WooCommerce and go to settings, where you can find the tiered pricing. Over here it is, click on this tab and make all the necessary customizations in the settings, such as show tiered pricing table or no, you can enable or disable this option. Choose the quantity displaying type, such as range or static values. Choose the display type, tooltip or table. Then add a table title, position, there are many positions available, I will just leave it at the above product title because I find it the best place. Then there is color customization for the background of the table, quantity column text, price column text, and you can show the discount column for the percentage table. Also, you can add a CSS class. Under the prices tabs, we have summarize all product variations during calculation, uh, tiered pricing for variable product, enable price formatting option, display tiered prices range or the lowest, Enable on catalog widgets price formatting for variable products. Enable price caching for the variable products. Price formatting on product page. You can enable or disable any of these options. I'm just going to leave it at default as it was. There are also options to set tiered price on click, show total price, show tiered price in cart as the discount. We have summary block after the price one where we can show the summary block. Uh, at the title, block type, and position. Also, we have tiered pricing for category. Set up tiered pricing rules for product categories. I'm going to enable this. And role based pricing, which also I'm going to enable. I will show you how that works in a bit. Uh, for now, after you made all the customizations in the settings for all the tabs you have seen, uh, just click on save changes. And now let's go to products and click on add new. Here we have a product name, skirt for example, um, we can set product image. This is just a test product to show you how the table works actually. And then we have the details, general and tiered pricing. Let's set regular price of 10 and the sale price for example can be 8. We can also schedule the sale, um, let's say from 25th till 27th. Also choose tiered pricing type, fixed or percentage, I'm going to choose fixed. And tiered price, for example, if they buy 5 products, each product will cost $8 instead of $10. If they buy 10 products or more, each product will cost $7 instead of 8 or 10 And here we have tiered pricing where we can uh, enable the option to skip category rules, which I'm going to do, and establish minimum quantity. Let's say it's going to be 2, and also let's add a role of administrator. Uh, the minimum quantity I'm going to leave it for 1 now, and regular price for administrator, which is role-based pricing, is going to be 8. Sale price 7, minimum quantity 2, Pricing type fixed and tiered price is going to be for 5 products, let's say $5. Now let's hit the publish button and see how it works with the uh, preview. Here is the preview, let's click on it and to review it from the front end, basically from how users are going to see it. As I'm an administrator and we set the minimum quantity of 2, now we can purchase minimum of 2 skirts which will cost $14. 
but if we in, in the summer block by the way you can see the final price and if we purchase this with the second option which means more than five squares each of them will be five dollars as we set in the pricing table and the background as you can see is pink as we said in the settings now let's go back and remove the raw based pricing so here is what we are going to do, we are just removing the administrator and minimum quantity, let's leave it as it is, let's also leave all those options as they are and click on save, basically update and go to um, the product page where we can see the table title, image, the customizations we made and the pr dynamic pricing. Users can choose from those options and see the final price in the summary block. As you can see, everything is quite easy and very useful for the users. Now we are going to WooCommerce Home in order to review the product from the catalog because we established the range pricing and as you can see from the settings and in the catalog we can review the price as range from the lowest to the highest. Also I wanted to mention that this product supports VP all import and generally import and export options that are over here that allows you to import or export products to CSV files. So, as you understood, this is one of the most amazing plugins that will help you to set up dynamic pricing for your WooCommerce products quite easily. This product works perfectly fine with VPML, WooCommerce product add-ons, mix-match products and WooCommerce subscriptions. And the user interface is extremely good. It is very easy to use, very easy to set up, and the color customization options for the backgrounds are just amazing. So if, you're, if you were wondering what uh, plugin to install for dynamic pricing setup, then tiered pricing table is definitely for you. Also, if you like this video, do not forget to share it with your friends and colleagues who may be interested in this topic. See you in the next video. Bye!